This is the Hurry Cane, and we are really impressed with this cane, which can stand up on its own, making it easy to find at night. Uh, set it by the bed or set it by a table. It will not fall to the floor, uh, and it doesn't need to hang on a table. It can stand on its own, and also it has this nighttime feature of being a flashlight on the bottom, right where you need to see the most. A simple turn on off switch there. And this also is collapsible by doing that. So we're very uh, portable, easy to carry around with this hurry cane. And as you can imagine, of course, um, it is adjustable too for whatever height you need. Unscrew the safety collar there and adjust it to whatever height you would like. Resecure the safety collar nice and snug. And it pivots somewhat as you walk too. You can, uh, or um, tilt slightly. There's a little bit of give in this. I don't know if you can see close up down here. There is some give. So as you're walking, this is going to have a little bit of a rock to it. So it makes for uh, easier uh, walk because these rubber grippers, these three rubber grippers on the bottom are nice and flat on the floor while you are still taking your next step. So um, it feels very stable, it doesn't slide because of these extra feet. But as you notice, if you've ever looked at, at um, canes before that have the stabilizing feet at the bottom, they usually extend out quite a bit further. Maybe you want that, but um, maybe you just want it more to be able to stand up rather than giving extra uh, support as you walk. So this has been quite handy and we've discovered that you can turn that light on and off. Of course with your hand, you cannot turn that on and off with your foot, but you can do it with your sock feet very easily. And have the light or not. To carry this hurricane into the car with you, if you need it to fold up, simply pull on it. There's a elastic cord inside there. So no hardware involved, just pull and fold, pull and fold. And to keep these together, just pull on this. It's actually an elastic strap to keep those together. And it comes with its own comes with its own carry bag if you should want to use it. Slide it down inside. And you can have this in a tote bag, I suppose, if you wanted. And pack it in the car. So in the dark, you can tap it on and see where you're going. Now this cane with these feet being so close together, it's not gonna stand up well on a very plush carpet and it may or may not stand up on throw rugs. It does stand up on ours, but ours aren't very plush. And of course, if you have an uneven floor, whether it's wood or concrete, if it's really bumpy, it's not gonna stand up, but most floors will work. And if it ever uh, tends to be leaning more one direction than another after you've been using it, uh, causing it to be off balance and, and, and keep tipping over. All you have to do is just firmly place it on the floor and turn it with the handle up above and eventually it will stand up again. Because of the flex at the bottom here, which is an advantage, it may sometimes need to be reflexed because you might find that it doesn't, it tends to tip over after you've used it for a while. That's easily fixed by just simply anchoring it with your foot and rotating the handle about 360. And 
it will be reset. It will be nice and straight and stable again. This is the Hurricane. We found it at Ollie's for $20. And <clears throat> it was a really good deal for a very handy cane with a flashlight built in.